This is how to make a jet ski in Lego Fortnite. Now I wanna to make today's video as easy as humanly possible. So the materials that you need are on screen right now, but I will tell you guys, in this little break right here, I forgot to show you that you do need a wrench and you do need a few more granite as well. So blast powder, wooden rods, granite, planks, wood, torches, cords, and silk fabric are all needed in order to make this build. Now I haven't done this in a long time, but let's do it again. If this video hits 500 likes, we'll give away a skin into the comment section below. And if we get at 750 likes, we'll drop a Lego set bundle on top of that. So 750 likes on this video, and we'll give you guys a skin and a Lego set bundle. Now on top of having all of the materials, let's go ahead and get all of these items into your favorite bar as well. So go ahead and find these and build these before you go and go on in this video. You want to have one large driver's seat, a large thruster, a small thruster, one red balloon, one car jack, one rustic roof wall, one vehicle base 02, vehicle base 10, and rustic beam 02. If you place all of these down and then break them, they will show up in your favorites and that'll make following this build tutorial so much faster. So just like I'm doing in this video right now, find these items, place them down, break them, have them in your recents. That way, when I tell you we're gonna build this now or this now, you're right with me the entire way. Now, the first step is the easiest, which is find water. Once you guys have found water, we're gonna grab the small car jack and place that in there. You don't want this all the way under the water, just sitting on top of the water is fine. And then grab your vehicle base 10 and flip it or rotate it so it's facing inside of the water or facing out towards the water. Once you guys do this, go into your recents, grab that rustic roof wall, and then also turn this so that it's actually curved and facing into the water or facing out towards the water. So you guys are gonna place four of these all across the front just to kind of give you that little slope down look, just like you would see on an actual jet ski. Once you guys are here, we're gonna grab the vehicle base 02, and I don't do it in this video tutorial here, but you actually wanna place two of them on the front so there's no empty hangover over the front. Now once you're done doing that, do that vehicle base 02 over the center area as well. And that's what's going to actually hold up your driver's seat. So then take the large driver's seat and place that over that center vehicle base 02. So now that our base is pretty much done, now we wanna to add to the rest of it. So rustic beam 01 is something that can work inside of this area. Although rustic beam 02 kind of fills it in just a little bit nicer. This is more personal preference than it is anything else you can use rustic beam one if you guys would like but once again this kind of just locks in that sitting area of the map once you guys are done this you guys are going to put one large thruster onto the back of this thing and then go in and grab the small thruster and we're going to place that on both sides now these are placed on the back of this build not the front of this build that way it's actually turning from the back just like they do in real life jet skis kind of have that little tail whip when you you guys are turning in real life. So you wanna place these little thrusters on the back end as well. So I wanna change these and make sure that one of them is going forward, one is going to activate to turn left, and the other one is gonna activate to turn right. You guys are able to do this simply by grabbing the wrench and then changing the channels that they use in order to turn with them. Sitting on the driver's seat is what's going to activate that. To go ahead and finish this build, we're gonna take a balloon here and then just do your best to line this up over center and place it on top of that rustic wall and this is your full build. Now I actually have a few clips of me using this thing because I ran this a few different ways. So I wanna show you guys everything that I did. That way that when you guys are doing this, you know different adjustments that you guys can make. First things first, with the large thruster on the back, you do fly for a little bit before descending right back into the water. So it is a little bit powerful when it comes to this build because it's very light. So you will actually lift 
lift up in the air. The best way to control this is just to tap your button to go ahead and push it forward and then use those turning mechanics. The turning mechanics are really nice and do replicate what one of these would look like in real life, but that thruster is definitely way too powerful on the back. So you wanna make sure that you're just pressing that a little bit rather than just full fledged sending this thing over and over again. So another thing that you guys can do in order to help this out is like I said earlier, throw a second rustic beam onto that front area there. That way it kind of rounds things out a little bit more and that just adding a little bit of weight should kind of bring down exactly how high you go when it comes to this. But once again, you could always add more onto this build, decorate it a little bit more with more colors, maybe add some white around the back or maybe add some black on top of it just to kind of make things look a little bit better. What I personally did was I added another rustic beam onto both sides to close this thing in. And I also added that rustic thing into the front, which like I said, is just gonna add to the weight. I still do go up in the air for a second here, but it lasts way less when I go ahead and have those things set up. So just adding to the weight is gonna help this build out so much more. So I definitely recommend doing that every single time that you're gonna use this build. Now, the final method that I used was just putting one small thruster onto the back. I do recommend putting a second one on here. The thing about the small thruster is that this definitely works much better as a jet ski. It is going to stay in the water, it's gonna lift up, that way it's not going underneath, and it's not going to go ahead and actually make you fly because that small thruster isn't powerful enough to do that. So what I recommend is maybe adding a second small thruster on there, but nonetheless, the turning on it is very funny. The way that it drives is very nice, and you guys can just have a little bit more fun simply by using one of these jet skis in game, just to kind of travel from one area of the map to the other. Again, I wouldn't recommend sitting there and using this as a full blown, you know, boat to go from one place to the other, but this is more of a fun creative build to have on your map that you could park next to your fishing dock or use around your friends. So now though Epic actually isn't dropping too much content into Lego Fortnite, I'm definitely trying to have a little bit more fun with my builds. So yesterday I dropped a video where I actually built an aircraft in one minute, and then I also built another one in one hour to show you guys the difference and what they could be as far as quality goes in one minute versus an hour. I think this would be a lot of fun to do with boats, jet skis, and different things like that. So definitely let me know what you guys think of this jet ski down in the comment section below if you guys build it. It doesn't cost that much, it works extremely well, and overall, it's just a lot of fun to use in game. So let me know what you guys think of this jet ski down in the comment section, but also drop some ideas as far as what challenges you guys would like to see when it comes to building on this game, because I'm not the best builder in the world right now, but I think that challenging myself and doing some giveaways along with it would be an absolute load of fun on this channel.